In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove echo in Audacity. So the first thing you want to do is of course have some audio inside Audacity. And then what you want to do is press Ctrl and A. So we select the entire thing, okay? And then you want to go under effects up here and then noise removal and repair and then noise gate. Now, once you're in here, you want to make sure that the settings are the same as mine on screen. These are kind of the default and I would suggest these. But the most important part is that under select function, you have gate, okay? And over here, it says link stereo tracks. Then you want to have minus 40, 0, minus 24, 10, 50, and 100, okay? Now, what you want to do is then click apply and see if that helps with your echo. Now, if it doesn't, you may want to play, uh, play along with these settings over here, okay? So basically, uh, this gate threshold is a, a value that determines when the audio will be affected and when it will be left untouched. Now, if below, uh, it will reduce output level, and if above, it will return the original input level. Now, uh, we have a level reduction, which is this one over here, okay? So this slider controls how much noise reduction will be applied when the gate is closed. So the more negative the level, the less noise is passing through the gate, okay? Uh, then we have attack in milliseconds. Now it sets how quickly the gate opens when the signal is above the gate threshold level. And then we have the hold. Now this sets how much time the gate remains open after the signal drops below the gate threshold level. And then we have decay, which sets how quickly the gate will close once the signal drops below the gate threshold level and hold time. Now, in case that doesn't mean anything to you, I read that of the official um, website of Audacity. Uh, what you have to do is just play around with it, okay? Just play around and change those settings and see what helps and what doesn't. And when you find something that works, simply press apply and that's it. You've got yourself a de-echoed audio.